Hello there, I'm Matthew Msinga, the designer and developer. This is my YouTube channel, Coded Design, where I teach coding and user interface design. This is the first video in a series with the name Graphic Design Story Course. So, in this course, I will be teaching you the graphic design through my own story. So, in this course, we're going to do a lot of interesting things and also it's going to be a very, very different course and it's going to be a unique course. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is my channel. So, these are the things that we're going to design. These are the sort of things that we're going to do. We're going to do a lot of uh, interesting stuff. We're going to um, do layouts. We're going to do vehicle wrapping. We are going to see how do you design a, a, a packaging for a product and all those things but for now let's just get into the basics this video i'm going to show you the coral draw basic how to create a new file on coral draw so this is coral draw so you click here and you click new okay you will see this window here that gives you possibilities of a new files and a setup as you can see first of all these are different sizes of files like different dimension so for instance this one is a letter this one is half letter this is a business card um, and so forth so as you can see that you can choose here depending on what you want to do you can choose here if you want to do a browser you can do it here but in in this course i'm going to, i'm going to teach you to uh set these things up automatically as you can see also here we've got uh, uh a3 extension in the in the printing industry um this is called sra3 basically an a3 extension it's um it's a page that is um a bigger than a3 for finishing purposes do you have you ever seen um a situation or ever been in a situation whereby you want to print a calendar but the calendar that you want to print you want um the artwork or the colors to reach the edge of a3 but when you send your artwork to a printing company you always see a white border there that is something that they can avoid because the machine has the clamping wheels that must um, carry and push the paper through the machine so those white borders are left by that space so the machine cannot print from edge to edge how is that solved in the industry then this uh, a3 extension or sra3 is used it's a page that is bigger than a3 to accommodate those uh, space for clamping wheels and then when you are done printing it you cut it you trim it to the exact a3 size so that's um that's about it when it comes to this is normal a3 and this is a3 extension so as you can see that you can uh, do a lot of things here um also as you can see now our uh, coral draw is becoming heavy on uh digital designs they've got a lot of templates now uh for 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 digital designs before they had a lot of uh, printing template but now as you can see that they are starting to involve uh, printing design and also mobile also so um, with a uh, with a graphic design program you are not only going to design for paper print as you can see here also you can design uh, mockups for web and also you can design mockups for mobile screen for instance before an app is designed before an app is launched like it becomes a fully uh, uh, working product or well deployed product it starts from here so that's about it um for uh, on these uh, uh designs and, and 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 sizes and custom sizes so as you can see on your right here you've got a chance to name your file um let's say student so you've got uh, a, a chance to name your file how many pages do you want let's say we want uh, three pages then uh, this one we can leave it as it is we want a single page view we don't want a multiple page view and then here you can choose if you are going to you, you want your color scheme to be same yk 
or to be RGB. What is the difference? When you are designing for a screen, for digital screen, it's a web banner, it's a poster that will circulate uh, on Facebook and WhatsApp, you must use RGB. What is RGB? RGB stands for red, green and blue. So this is some sort of um, a technology or an approach or a technique that uh, the LCD technology is, 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 is using. Uh, like your your screen the screen that you are looking at now it uses a combination of uh, red green and blue to form all the colors that you see hence RGB works for screens so even if um, you are watching a television also it uses uh, the same technique or uh, approach when it comes to displaying different colors so that is RGB for instance <coughs> Uh, 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 the, the screen that we are looking at now it uses RGB and then we also uh, got um, CMYK what is CMYK? CMYK uh, stands for cyan, uh, magenta, yellow and uh, black this K stands for black, 100% black so CMYK is used um, let's say outside the, 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 the computer outside the digital screen which is physically like with is used by printers so it's a way of coming up with a uh, different colors uh, color combination in digital screen rgp can do that but outside the digital screen um cmyk does that meaning that um the printers are using cmyk large format printers printers that can print banners and all those things so basically here you can choose this part based on what is it that you are going to that the ideal the finished product this based on the finished product if your product is going to only uh, be used on screens then you can choose rgb if you are going to print it then you can use a cmyk there is a video that is going to be uh, specifically talk about cmyk rgb pentone and hex code now let's talk about the dimension how big do you want it to be so you can choose uh, the size here and also you can set it up here well most people are uh, some people they use inches in some different it's in some other countries but uh, for me not even it's not a matter of uh, the country for me i prefer millimeters uh, that's what i've been using and also i think millimeters and pixels so when would you use millimeters and when would you use pixel then again when you are designing for web because the screens are using pixels the screen so they are using pixels so when you are designing for web and web banners you can use pixel as you can see here this is a 760 times 420 it's pixel let's look at mobile because even for the mobile development uh, it's supposed to be using pixel or or dp this is pixel or dp as you can see here the units is a uh, pixel also there will be a separate tutorial for units only where i will be teaching you all the, the ins and outs of units so for me i prefer millimeters so for now let's leave it like this and then the orientation is it gonna be portrait or is it uh, going to be uh, landscape and this one for now you can uh, just leave it and that's about it you can click okay and then Corel Draw is uh, setting up the page for you okay sorry about my slow computer and that is it this is our first new page as you can see that the name is student and obviously it's not saved yet it will require you to save it otherwise for me Matthew Singati that's about it for this course please subscribe so that you can be notified for other upcoming interesting videos where we will do vehicle branding where we will uh, use our uh, will design uh, packages for product where I'll show you how to insert a barcode in a product and all those things everything is going to be practical you are going to love it thank you so much for watching